Hi guys and welcome. Um, today we're going to do an experiment with bismuth and it just arrived in the mail. And what we're going to do today is, is a great big chunk of it. It's not that expensive, it's maybe $15-$20 for uh, probably 10, 10 pounds. But anyway, it's, uh, we've got a great big chunk and my assistant here is going to help open it. So let's see what the bismuth looks like. So this is it after getting out of the plastic. Ooh. Very nice piece here. And uh, we're gonna get ready to start melting this this big chunk. So here goes. The big chunk of uh, bismuth that I had earlier, instead of trying to cut it with a saw, we'll try and melt it, that whole big piece. You can break it up, it's very brittle, just by hitting it with a hammer. So that's pretty much what I did. Forms this like colorful oxide on the top of it, and when you when you move the oxide away, the freshly exposed surface quickly reoxidizes, and as the oxide layer forms and becomes thicker, it changes colors. So it goes through these different rainbow-like colors. It's beautiful, and I think that's what imparts the color to the crystals. Smooth into this. Here it goes. You have to be real careful. It's real heavy. And it's real hot. Actually, before I do that, let me clear off the slag layer. So let's do that right now. We'll clear off this slag layer. Okay, slag layer is cleared. Now let's do the pouring. All poured. Now we're going to cover this up. Let this pour real slow. So we're going to insulating a piece of aluminum on top. Make sure you've got some gloves on. I've got these garden gloves. Some kind of gloves for, for protection just in case the liquid metal drops on your hands. And uh, you can see here the edges of it are already hard. This part of it is still liquid. So what I'm going to do now is just um, start pouring the metal out of there into this sludge container. So let's put this here and then um, let's pick this thing up. And we're going to pour it out of there. You can see mostly it's solidified, so let's pour it quickly, like this. And what we do is we'll let this whole thing set, and then we can cut it open and look for crystals inside it. And I think you can see in there, there are a whole bunch of crystals that are formed pretty nicely in there. And uh, part of the size of those crystals is related to the fact that we cooled it really slowly. So that's, that's key by using this insulating piece of paper. So when this is set, I'm gonna tap on the back of this with a hammer and knock the whole slug of bismuth out of there. Yeah, here it is. There's some beautiful crystals in there. Don't know if you can see them, but some amazing crystal formations. The whole thing is cooled off now. So what I'm gonna do is tap this thing out of here. I'm gonna try some wood first to do that. Nope, there it goes. There it goes. You can break off the extra, extra bits, put that on the edge and just recycle them like that. I decided not to try and break it up with a hammer or cut it with a saw because that would just uh, destroy the crystal structure. What I found is there's a lip that comes over all the crystals so you can simply uh, just use a pair of pliers. The metal is relatively brittle and soft. You can use a pair of pliers to just pull up the, uh, the edges so you can see the crystals exposed 
and they look great. I mean, it's amazing. I probably won't do anything more with it once I've exposed most of these crystals. So that's what I'm going to do right now. As you can see here. I have a large cra uh, collection of crystals here that I've just pulled off with the pliers, but the main structure, you can now pretty much see it really well right here. It's absolutely beautiful, the formations of the crystals in there, which are now all exposed. I may uh, take off some more of this from this part here. Uh, but apart from that, I think it's gonna be ready for, for being a table piece. <laughs> 